Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this stunning open magazine mockup in a Canva in a few minutes. But before we dive into the tutorial, I have a quick favor to ask. If you like my content and find it valuable, please take a moment to hit that small like button and subscribe to my channel. Is it really helps to keep creating content for you? Thanks, and now let's get started. So I just open a new page. Actually, the resolution is not important. I use this standard uh, YouTube thumbnail mockup just for just for my preference. I think that's uh, better to <laughs> easier to create on the, this wider Canva. So first, we need to go to the frames and we just need a standard square frame then we just need to change the resolution and copy it and just uh, attach to the next attach to the other uh, other frame then we have to go to the elements again and we just have to type shadow see all and have to find the shadow what is uh, suitable for us not this one i just try to find what i would uh, try to use this one yes this one we need to use to the oh, sorry to the bottom part you just have to click hold on the control button Just zooming a bit to get the whole side and try to find the proper size might be a bit bigger nice no, to be too big even a bit smaller yeah this one looks good looks like there is a already some 3d element and just we just have to find some uh, shadow like this which is just a line but that's not easy to find the proper uh, proper size i'm just using the Original one, or, ju or just try this to rotate to 90 degrees and move into the left side again, zooming a bit to see is it in the right position. Now, yes, and the bottom is a bit bigger than needed. I just zooming as much as possible due to see where is the border. Uh -huh, no, it's not good. Or good. Uh, actually, yes, now it's good. Going back to the left side, still good. And on top, still good. Okay. Zooming out a bit and just duplicate the page and set it here to the middle. And now duplicate again and we can turn it around. But if you go into the position and arrange, here is the rotate and just set to 90. Which is not good due to this is in a shadow on the left side. That's not a problem. We just have to change the 90 to minus 90. And we're already in a proper range. Okay, nice zooming. And move into the left side. 
as you can see it's not in a proper span one up and right okay now it's good now it's perfect perfectly match and here also not so I have to go a bit left now it's good everywhere I think or not no due to this it was not perfect a bit overlapping which one now I have to move it a bit uh, left to clear all the unwanted lines and wanted empty space. Okay, now it uh, really looks good and we can go to the background just to add some gradient background. And now the only thing what we need to do it's already created this mockup. We just have to fill the the frames. So I just would like to add some. Now it says now it will be a forest going to the filter vertical photos and just need to find two photos what i'd like to use this will be one of the photo and the other photo will be that we use this to the right and now just click on the position layers and as you can see the frames are in the bottom so we cannot even move the uh, images into the frames so this is the left oh, not important i can do it here yeah just adding here adding here and might be a bit too dark but not not important now just have to move it down a bit again so keep now keep these four edges for shadows in the in a top layer and it's not not that nice sorry it's not not good not good that i don't, don't like it why is it not working now okay now it's moving moving i don't like this it's too dark so i have to do uh, with the photos also vertical I will use this to here and this to here again back to positions and moving down we can even try this but Not bad. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry. I need to do this. No. I need to do this. Just a bit. I'm moving down. No. Oh, okay. Okay. I see what was the problem. Okay. The, the bottom of the page is white. So just, uh, I was curious why is it white here, but it's nothing bad. It actually, the original image is white in the bottom. It's a white sand and it, it's too, it's too white below the, yes, actually below the, uh, shadow 
Yes, now it's good. Now it's perfect. It really looks like a just a open magazine. Of course, I'm just add two images. If you would like to use it for your own design, own post, you can create your own uh, pages and add it into the into the frames. But now I just wanted to show how is it works, how you can create your own. I think it's uh, really amazing. It looks really nice. The only thing is uh, you need to use this frame, this uh, sorry, this shadow in the bottom part. It looks like a really it's an open book or open magazine and using the, the shadows in the left side, right side and in the middle, just duplicate the from the sides. Of course, if you would like to use some different shapes or, or this, you think this is a bit too big, this uh, shadow here, try to find a bit narrow one or with a not, a not, not, not just a straight line. But this is absolutely up to you. Have you create your own? I think it's absolutely amazing. I really like it. This is just a small technique. How can you create your improve your post with the small ideas? Hope so. You like this tutorial. If you really like it, please do not forget to hit that small like button and subscribe to my channel. And please leave a note in the comment section. If you're struggling anything in a Canva, I try to answer as soon as possible or if you just miss uh, something from this tutorial. Please also check my Facebook page where you can find uh, lots of different uh, Canva tutorials, not only from me, also from another uh, Canva experts. Plus you can find a bunch of uh, text to image generation prompts for different kind of uh, applications. So if you are also interested in this area, please feel free to check my Facebook page. You can find the link in the description. But now this tutorial is really going to end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.